Is you ready? Are you ready, baby? Wait, what song was that? Now that I can do. Yeah. Watch me now. Work, work. Oh, work it up, baby. With the holidays quickly approaching and family making plans to come and visit, we want to make sure that the space they will be occupying is ready. We have composed a list of eight things your guest bedroom needs right now to make it more inviting. Let's go. So the first thing that your guest bedroom needs now is functional decor. I know you want things to be pretty and appealing, which is fine. However, comma, you need to take into consideration that people will be using this space. In my guest bedroom, we don't have anything in the drawers and there are no personal pictures used as decor in the guest space. Using a power strip is a really good item inside of the guest room with all of the technology we carry around. It only makes sense to have more than just the standard outlet so people can charge all of their devices. Our next suggestion for your guest room needs is fresh neutral bedding and linens. This is a no brainer y'all or at least it should be. This is a big one because this is the biggest impact to your guest comfort. Please clean your comforter <laughs> sheets and towels. Make sure they are not only looking and smelling clean, but that they are actually clean, y'all. I mean, don't just be spraying them with a breeze. If they need to be replaced, replace them. Walmart and Target have beautiful selections for just about any budget. If you wanna take it one more luxurious step further, opt for all white. That way there is no doubt in your guest's mind if the sheets and plush towels are clean. You can do whatever you want in your own bedroom, but in the guest bedroom, you wanna make things nice and simple by using white bed linens. And when people leave, you can bleach them or use your favorite laundry cleaners. And then when they are clean, you can store them away for the next guest. Yeah, thank you. I completely agree. On top of cleanliness, pillows are important as well. Have options for your guests. Use a firm foam pillow and a down or down alternative pillow just so there's a variety and your guests can choose what's best for their comfort. That's we recommend idea. one of each for each one of your guests. Add luxury to your guest bedroom by using duvets or down comforters or non-down comforters if you're concerned about allergies. Don't forget to add texture yes. with your throw blankets. If it's cold, your guests may want to layer on blankets to snuggle up. So ensure that it's available as you want them to be as comfortable as possible. So the next thing that your guest bedroom needs is space and storage. Baby! Yes. It ain't nothing like coming to visit somewhere <laughs> and you're not able to feel like and make yourself at home yeah. because they got a bunch of stuff just filled up in the closet or on the nightstands and yeah. dresses. I know you can't change the dimensions of your room. However, keep space available in the closet and the drawers with hangers for your guests to utilize. You don't want your guests living out of their luggage the yeah. entire time they're visiting. I take it a step further for my guests who are only staying a night or two and I set out the luggage rack so that they don't have to really have nice. their have to bend down or you know lose walking space in the room due to you know their luggage, luggage being on the ground. Yeah. I agree space is really important but if you just don't have the space available to share or you're using one of the kids room as a guest room then we encourage you to use hooks you guys they are a really great alternative there are all kinds of hooks to match just about any home decor style it really just makes your guests feel like they are welcome and you gave some thought into them coming to visit with you so the next tip we have for you is to use extra toiletries even if you've planned every detail of a trip there is always something <laughs> that you forget when it comes to basic essentials have some extra on hand for guests who may have forgotten them in the excitement of coming to visit you in our guest room and the main level bathroom we keep travel size shampoo conditioner toothpaste and other items for our guests just in case they don't have it you never know what little thing would help your guests. So I try to keep my bathroom stocked with basic hygiene care and a first aid kit as well. If you're feeling really fancy and you want to be an elite 
post. Okay. Add a robe. Hey. One per guest hang in the closet or on the hooks mentioned in the previous tip. This is sure to make your guests feel extra special. Another thing that we suggest that you add to the guest bedroom is a welcome that basket. That is so nice. This is very, very personal for me and it is a must have in my guest bedroom. I typically will ask my guests to name a few of their favorite snacks before they come into town and I add it to the welcome basket with bottles of water and other beverages. No matter how many times you tell someone to make themselves at home, yeah. sometimes people are just uncomfortable walking into your pantry to pick out a snack. Ashley, you really be thinking about your guests. Like making sure that they have a welcome basket is a really fantastic idea, especially if everyone has already turned in for the night who wants to be the guest rummaging through the pantry in the middle of the night like a trash panda? Most of our guests are coming from places with different time zones or they may just be late night snackers, you never know. And you are sure to be the best host ever by making it personal to your guests. Speaking of personal, we would personally like it if you are finding this list helpful in any way to click the like button and subscribe. So our next tip is personalization. This doesn't have to be a grand gesture that costs a ton of money. I simply personalize the space with a message board that welcomes our guests and gives them access to the Wi-Fi name and password. I have a friend who uses her rotating picture frame and she will change the pictures to photo memories of her family and the guests. That is such a Aww. cute and good idea. So the next tip is to add accessible lighting. We mm -hmm. highly recommend bedside lamps, especially if you do not want your guests to stub a toe or get bruised shins. Mm -mm, this lighting should be easily accessible from the bed for your guests so they can just reach over and turn it on and off. The key is keeping the light as close to the bed as possible, mm -hmm. or at least as you can get it for your guests. Just in case they want to get up in the middle of the night, they aren't fumbling in the dark to get from point A to point B. You can add dimmable lights just in case your guests like to read while they're in Ooh, the I bed like or they like to wind down and they have a routine. They can just turn the dimmer down a little bit and once they're ready to turn in for the night, they can just turn it off. So our final tip of the day is provide a hamper, whether you call it a laundry basket or dirty clothes hamper, just have somewhere for people to put their dirty clothes. Not only does this make a designated area for your guests dirty laundry, but it helps to make sure that they keep the floor clean and clear. I always invite my guests to do their laundry the night before, or if they have early travel the day before they leave so they don't have to travel with dirty laundry. I really hate traveling with dirty laundry so I always invite my guests to do it it's just nice to not have to think about laundry when you return from a trip if your guest is doing laundry it is a nice amenity to let them carry a basket to your washer without having to carry all of the dirty clothes in their arms so that wraps up today's video guys we hope that these tips were helpful for you and they yeah. relieve some of the pressure that tends to build up when we're preparing for guests to come and visit let us know in the comments how you are preparing for your guests and list some things that we may have missed as always we look forward to seeing you guys next week bye